Well, the cash crunch in Niagara Falls due to lapsed casino payments is starting to affect public safety efforts there. Well, police say no one is in danger, but that they are running low on working vehicles and they don't have any money to replace them. The story now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. We're in a, a dire straits really with the fleet right now. A fleet which one might say is rather fleeting. Roughly how many police cars do we have? Um, roughly, I think 30 to 35 total. And roughly how many are out of service? About half. About half of the cars? Um, oh, yeah, almost. Chalk it up to a combination of normal wear and tear. They're driven 24 hours a day, uh, pretty much nonstop. On less than stellar city streets. There was also a slew of accidents. We've had six cars in the past two and a half years that have been totaled. Oh, and then there's the fact they haven't been able to replace any of these cars for two years. I just don't think it's any secret to the city's strapped financially for money. The casino dispute between the Seneca Nation and New York State has held up tens of millions of dollars in payments to the city for several years. Though an arbitration panel ruled last month in favor of the state, the Seneca have yet to pay up, taking their case to the U.S. Department of Interior. Governor Cuomo promised the city the state would float it $12 million in the interim, but that money's yet to arrive. Falls Mayor Paul Deister was unavailable today, but didn't seem worried when we asked him about this several weeks ago. Ago. Is the money really there? Uh, look, I have assurances from the Department of Budget. I'm not concerned about it if they're not concerned about it. Ball City Councilman Kenny Tompkins got a similar response when he brought it up at their last meeting. The mayor didn't give us a solid answer. He said they're in constant communication with the governor. Something a spokesperson for Governor Cuomo's budget office echoed in a statement to us today in which he said the commitment to the city remains firm as they await the next step. I would like to see the check. In the meantime, mechanics at the city garage are plundering old cop cars for parts to keep what's left of the fleet, some with as many as 175,000 miles on them, in service. And even if the money dropped out of the sky tomorrow, police cars aren't born overnight. That is a big concern. Between the time it would take to purchase the vehicles and then to upfit them at places like Empire Emergency, it has to have cages put in, computer system in, lights flashing. It could be a while before the full fleet is back on its feet. If everything went quickly, oh, I would say we'd be looking at about three months before I saw a car on the road. Councilman Tompkins says he'll seek money from the city's tourism fund to buy some new police cars. He reasons that protecting the safety of both residents and the visitors who drive the city's economy would be a prudent use of those dollars. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.